He was a modest sort of hero, 105 when the Czech Republic awarded him its highest honour last year, watched by some of those he'd helped to save. He'd been 92 when Britain knighted him. But he was just 28, a stockbroker planning a skiing holiday when a friend suggested he go to Prague. The Nazis had invaded Czechoslovakia. The capital was full of refugees. Nicholas Winton helped organise trains to take Jewish children to safety, the kinder transport they were called, and found them homes in Britain. Somebody wrote and said they wanted a girl of seven. We sent them a picture of seven girls of about seven and said choose one. Not the kind of way one would normally transact human, but it worked very well, it was quick. Suzanne Medas was one of those he saved. She reached London 76 years ago today. Her rescuer has been called the British Schindler. There's no comparison between Oscar Schindler, who, albeit, saved some Jews because he, he employed them in his factory, but he also made money out of them. Let's face it, that's the truth. Nicholas Winton had no ulterior motive. And uh, I should tell you that you are actually sitting next to Nicholas Winton. Hello. <laughs> Recognition came late. In 1988, the TV programme That's Life reunited him with some of those he'd helped save. He'd kept quiet about what he'd done until his wife found a scrapbook in their loft. But even Nicholas Winton couldn't help everyone. Eight kinder transport trains left Prague. A ninth was stopped the day war was declared. All 250 on board later vanished.